Hello everyone and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. It's February. Say it with me. What time is it? It's what's new at Integrity Botanicals. And we got a nice little roundup this month. Some very exciting things. So I'm just going to waste no time. Let's start off with just, you know, the new normal, a new staple from Province Apothecary. They've come out with their lavender mint hand sanitizer spray and this is available in two different sizes so we do have this little guy right here the 30 milliliter one is eight bucks um what i like about this is that it's 70 percent ethyl alcohol it's not going to leave that sticky gross residue in your skin and it is a spray bottle so it's just easy peasy smells delicious what's not to love this one's been living in my purse or we can opt for the big boy here the big boy is 250 milliliters this is 22 dollars um what's great about this is even if you buy both you can then just take this and decant it into the small one and then just kind of leave this one at home home base sort of hand sanitizer situation so that's from province apothecary of course formulated with some nice ingredients so that it doesn't leave your hands feeling stripped dry itchy cracked all of that good stuff. Then we have a new re-release from Josh Rosebrook. This is their Active Infusion Oil. Now, if you know nothing about this item, it did exist once before. It's been repackaged, it's been reformulated, and it is essentially a retinoid and vitamin C facial oil. So paired together, it's meant to have a lot of anti-aging properties, help with any discoloration on the skin. Vitamin C is great for that. Um, it has no essential oils in here. It helps with increased cell turnover as well as improved texture and tone. And these are all things that I love. It behaves very similarly to the Iuna, the facial, only that's more of a treatment item. And this is something that you could use every single night. So the oil blend that is infused in here sort of cushions the delivery of all of those active ingredients, which is fantastic. It allows your skin to be moisturized while also sort of working at keeping the texture and tone in a good place, which is something that I struggle with most, you know, aging as well, age spots, things like that, discoloration within the skin. This will help alleviate that. Now I've only used it a handful of times. I have noticed that it does pair nicely with the other items that I enjoy using in my skincare routine. Speaking of skincare routine, quick sidebar, I am finally going to be sharing my skincare routine with you, at least the most firm one. There's a lot of moving parts in my skincare routine, having this be one of my jobs but I'm gonna be sharing that with you. But my existing skincare routine is just something I've been using pretty consistently ever since sort of lockdown, I would say. And um, this active infusion oil I have been incorporating and it's been sort of blending in nicely. So the verdict is still out on this one, but first impressions are great. The ingredients as always are beautiful and that will cost you $75 from Josh Rosebrook. Moving right along, we got a fun little makeup launch. These are from Ritual Defee. We have two new eye soots and I love these. These are actually the Celestial Sphere eye soots and I have reviewed them all so I'm going to link those videos for you down below. One of my favorite brands to ever launch on Integrity Botanicals. But if you're familiar with their other Celestial Sphere eye soots, um, they're a little bit more gelatinous and sticky in texture than the traditional eye soots. Those are a little bit more velvety and powdery. These are a little bit more sticky but not the same way that the existing shades are. And I will have to do a comparison video, I think, to really sort of speak to that. But these behave like a mix of the ones that I've already reviewed and the eye soot. So they have a bit more pigment, though they have a lot of glitter and dimension and shift and sheen, all of that good stuff that I think both formulations of the Ritual Defeat eye soots have. Um, these are just a little bit different. These have a little bit more, they focus on like a shift in colors. They have like black gelé bases and then this really cool sort of color is added on top. So I am wearing one on my eyes here today. This is Andromeda and Andromeda is said to be a red to gold. It's a bit more of a pinky gold to me but I, I paired this today with the 100% pure rose gold palette to sort of pick up on those more pinky rosy hues. I use the Air Perez copper liner at my lash line instead of a brown. It's just gorgeous. You'll see in the swatch it really has a nice strong shift to it. And then there's also Serpents, which I am in love with this shade. I need to do a nice smoky eye with this. This one is a dark gold with a black base. So the just 
contrast of this is amazing. It almost has like a green antique gold sort of tinge to it. So far so good. I've had this on for quite some time and I have not experienced any creasing. The sort of method to the madness with these is to just use a very light hand and I like to apply it first, apply all my other colors, well apply my crease color first, apply this, blend it out a little bit more and then do a really light coating of this on top. So I think I'm going to discuss more about these because I'm just head over heels for them. I mean, even in the container, they are insane. I love them. Moving along to Agent Nature, one of my favorite skincare brands ever. This is a little bit of a departure. They're totally in the same wheelhouse. This is actually a hair, skin, and nail supplement. This is called their Holy Mane, and it is a powder supplement, which I love. You can mix it in with any sort of beverage. Um, it is marine collagen and pearl powder. What I love about this, and I have used it for the first time this morning, actually, so long-term effects to come, but this is a pro tip. When you are putting it in your coffee, which is how I will choose to be using this, it is the most consistent beverage that I consume, especially first thing in the morning. I think it's just sort of great to start your day off with this. Um, uh, I like to put a scoop in. It has a little scooper in here. That's all you need. Put it in the bottom of the cup and then put the coffee on top of it rather than pour the coffee and then try to mix it in because you will notice it's going to coagulate a little bit at the top, but it's not like a chunky, like, you're gonna taste it, it will dissolve as you're drinking it. It just looks a little like, did I do this right? But I found that it works better when you put it in before the coffee. So pro tip for you, but it's really easy. It is very tasteless. I did not, I wasn't like, Ugh, I don't like how my coffee tastes when I use this. I was so, so thrilled about that. I love things like this to just sort of incorporate to the day to day sort of routine that's a do it all type of product that's good for your hair, skin, nails, the whole bit. I mean, look, these are my real nails now. I'm just kidding. These are very much fake, but maybe with continued use of this, we can expect that. So I'll report back on this. I love this sort of thing. You know I love the beauty chef, um, but something that's tasteless, can put in the coffee, nothing that I love more than that. So this is $78 from Agent Nature. I have, of course, opened it more glamorously, but um, it's beneficial for dull, fragile hair, skin volume, fine lines and wrinkles. I did just turn 26. Uh, dehydrated skin, uneven, uneven skin tone and hyperpigmentation, as well as brittle nails. So I am pumped on that, and um, the tasteless factor is what does it for me. From Fit Glow, we've got a new skincare drop from Fit Glow. This one I haven't tried yet, but I am hopeful because I love me a good Fit Glow beauty oil. But this is their Mandelic Drops. This is a $69 item. We've got the ingenious classic packaging with Fit Glow where the pipette is just built into the pump. I love that. Um, it is a vegan formulation as well. These are meant to be skin perfecting, brightening and clearing drops suitable for all skin types. It's also safe to use if you have very sensitive skin such as rosacea, it is supposed to combat that as well. Um, there are gentle AHAs in here. I think that helps with the whole brightening and clearing situation. But in here we do have the mandelic acid, which is of course the namesake. Mandelic acid is a very light exfoliating um, ingredient. Then there's also bearberry, which improves the clarity and brightness of the skin. We do also have kojic acid. Kojic acid prevents any sort of pigmentation from developing further, which is fabulous if you have, you know, sort of hormonal, acneic, reactive sort of skin. And then we also have hyaluronic acid in here. So it's meant to do all of that without drying out the skin. And that is the type of stuff I love to hear. So I don't really suffer with rosacea or any sort of real redness in the skin. However, I am getting a little bit of a reaction here. I left a face mask on too long and that area of my face is really the only area I experience hypersensitivity. So maybe this will alleviate that. I'm gonna give it a go first thing tonight and report back to you shortly. I did just wanna let you all know about its existence. Then we have another item that I don't have in my possession, but I'm sure I will shortly. We have um, the Organic Bath Co. Hand Soaps. And these are new to us. They're an $8 value, which is even cheaper than the Cosmetology, which is really cool. Um, although I love the Cosmetology as well. It's gonna come down to scents if you prefer a foaming situation, whatever. Um, but these are 100% vegan. 10 fluid ounces formulated with coconut oil, olive oil, jojoba, and aloe vera. Very nourishing, hydrating, 
gets the job done. And the scent options that we have are naked, which is totally scentless. Um, we have refreshment. We have peaceful, which is a lavender sort of scent, as well as zesty morning, which is sort of an orange invigorating type of smell that I really love. But I haven't used them, but I do love Organic Bath Co. so much that I know they would only produce something fabulous. If you've tried them, let me know, but do also know that they're available to shop right here right now on integritybotanicals.com and total best for last really 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 exciting new brand launch we now have tata freaking harper oh my god you guys tata harper is one of those things that like i use basically everything exclusively from integrity botanicals i mean why not we have like everything but this is the one thing that i sort of would cheat on and incorporate into the skincare routine because it's just that good there are so many fantastic items we have 12 items plus the discovery kit that's where we're starting if you are unfamiliar with tata harper I highly, highly recommend this discovery kit. And here you are getting the regenerating cleanser, which is one of my all time favorites. You also get the resurfacing mask, which is just a cult classic. We also are getting the hydrating floral essence, the rejuvenating serum, which is something that I use today. You are getting the reparative moisturizer and the uh, retinoic nutrient face oil as well. So a really good sort of all encompassing view of the range which i love but we have all kinds of other exciting items we have the hydrating floral essence big boy we have the i haven't used this yet but i will the uh hi oh, i'm giving you the french version the water lock moisturizer which let's just quickly have a moment i love the packaging it's one of those where you pump it and it comes from the top i just love that the rejuvenating serum like i said i use that today and i really notice like a good healthy dose of hydration to the skin the um we have the restorative eye cream i found that my uh concealer laid down very nicely today so a lot of these items are new to me though i have some favorites from tata harper that i have used and are now available but this is just one of the best skincare lines in the business they've been around forever there are so many cult classics it's just one of those things that you have got to try and i will be diving a little bit deeper into the brand hopefully in the month of march i want to sit down with someone from tata harper and really understand the ingredients on a deep level so i can share it with you as well as just interact with the products and formulate my own thoughts outside of the products that i already use and love um so that is it everyone that is what's new at integrity botanicals for the month of february so much goodness a skincare heavy month but i find that that's even better because we're all wearing less makeup and then what did launch are these gorgeous eye slips that i'll be talking about very very shortly um but thank you all so much for watching any helpful videos that i can list down below for you i absolutely will do so make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe before you go every single uh product that i talked about here today is available on our website right now so i'm going to go ahead and link all those down below in the description box for you if you're curious about my makeup i include that down below as well and don't forget to check out our social media instagram pinterest facebook we're everywhere. Check us out. I do also upload a bonus video every single month on our IGTV. Uh, so make sure that you check us out. And um, I'm going to say it one more time, thumbs up, subscribe. New videos here every week as well. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below. Let me know what product you are most excited about as well. And I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye.